Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. It's great to be back with the Celebrating Act 2 audience and our favorite love and connection coach, Michelle Fabrica. And of course, John Coleman, my favorite partner. Of course, of course. Michelle, good to see you again, as always. Love your smile. We get to talk about everything with you. This is, it's <laughs> why I always enjoy having you on. Um, I have a word that you're probably familiar with. I'm hearing it a lot, and I'm not sure what it means. Here's the word, authenticity. Hmm. I, yeah, I'm, it's a little... Hmm. I get it's a little philosophical stuff for me, and I, I, is it, aren't we all authentic? I mean, what is, what's this authenticity stuff? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, well, there's a quote from Brene Brown that is, um, authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of who we think we're supposed to be and embracing who we are. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> this is, really, yeah. seriously, this is the first time that the use of that word has made sense to me. I, yeah. You know, it, it sounded like a lot of philosophical claptrap stuff. I know what you're now, saying, yeah. That's I a mean, great cause, definition. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, other ways of saying it are like, you know, you're, you're true to your values and beliefs that you act in alignment with what's important to you, regardless yeah. of the pressure you might feel from others to, you know, to act differently. So, and, and you're honest with yourself and with others and you take responsibility for your mistakes. Yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting that, um, uh, especially I guess when you're in the beginning of a relationship and not necessarily a, a second uh, a love relationship, uh, uh, just uh, meeting somebody for the first time, the question uh, to me, authenticity has been uh, uh, because we hide to some degree what we are. If you're out on a, uh, a call, a business call, you're wearing a suit and a tie, but most of the time you live in a, a t-shirt or a, a sports shirt <laughs> and uh, shorts. So what what is your true authentic self? So you do put on uh, a facade, especially perhaps when you're meeting new people, or maybe you don't want to say everything about themselves, well, I am a he-man, okay, because you don't want to put somebody off and make them think that that's the only way, even though you may think of yourself that way, you know, a weightlifter mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So, uh, but I guess um, uh, the authentic authenticity when you're getting into a, a relationship, whether it's with a new friend, uh, out on the golf course, or uh, uh, doing some other activity that you might like together, or whether it's a love relationship, a potential uh, romantic relationship, is the authentic. At some point, if you don't uh, reveal more of yourself, the likelihood is that it's going to have a bad ending <laughs> somewhere along the line. <laughs> right. So, is that is that the essence of uh, authenticity of, of building relationship? At some point, you have to sort of be who you are, not who you'd like somebody else to think you are. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, we waste a lot of time when we're trying to be someone different or to pretend that we like something we don't or appear a certain way, right? And it takes a lot of energy and effort to be kind of putting up this front or facade to act a certain way. or And, and it doesn't really do us any good because we end up attracting people um, that don't even like who we really are. They just like this uh, this visual that or, you know, way we've created our, you know, positioned ourselves to be, right? So it's actually, it's not good for us. And it doesn't really, when we're really listening to ourselves and more, hey, this is me, I'm more comfortable in my own skin. Um, I'm a straight shooter. I say, you know, I say what's on my mind. It doesn't mean I'm rude or, you know, blunt or unkind, but it's just like, this isn't working for me. Or um, actually, this is, I don't want to see that movie or... You know, I know you invited so and so to join us, but I wish you would ask me first because you know I actually was hoping it was just going to be us too yeah. when we go to this event. You know, whatever. So it's kind of like um, honoring your own truth about something and feeling comfortable enough to share it with the other and being okay with you know the other person's truth, right? So 
um, but we create trust this way. We um, we can rely on someone to 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 tell us straight what, what's going on for them. Yeah, you've you've heard it uh, said that uh, I heard it recently, and I can't remember the context. But it's it's uh, more work to uh, lie because you always have to figure out what the lie was and follow it up with more of the same. And it's much easier to just be honest. And um, authenticity seems to me to be saying, don't live a lie. Don't mm -hmm. fool yourself. Don't, um, don't lie to yourself, really. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I mean, I like that you brought brought into that because uh, one of the quotes from one of my mentors says, we can only be as honest as we are self-aware. So Good sometimes point. we think we're being honest, but there's actually a deeper truth. Yeah. And that's okay. It just means that at some point, if we want to stay in connection with the other person and be our true selves, we need to kind of go back and say, you know what, when I said you know, that, yeah, I really like that new dress you got or, you know, whatever. I don't know what made me think of that example. I have to say, you know, actually, I, I don't really, the color is, is upsetting to me. It, it looks like vomit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Bad example. <laughs> Sorry. But, you know, it's kind of like we're, we're realizing all the time sometimes that what we first view a situation or an experience, later we might see it differently. Oh, actually, I got really angry. And that's why I lashed out at you. But I, when I really, really realized this, I was actually kind of upset that you didn't ask me first about, you know, this or that. So it's sort of like, it's kind of a discovery too. It's not like we're, I'm authentic all the time until I'm not, you know? Yeah, it's sort yeah. of like, it's a practice really, which is like, you know, like the quote, which I love, the daily practice of noticing ways that we um, expressed ourselves or things we did or said that like, well, wasn't quite right and so we get to go back and you know kind of um, you know do it over sometimes yeah yeah and, and it's really um, it, now that we're discussing it uh, authenticity is really a good um, topic for us all to consider or a good practice I guess Absolutely, because it's not easy yeah. it, it's not easy we often um, sometimes our emotions or something else makes us think that we should say something or do something or act a certain way that we're not really feeling. Mm. And then, of course, there are, as you point out, there are times when uh, we're really feeling that that dress makes me vomit, and we we can't say that. <laughs> you know? Well, we can. So if, if you're if you're a friend with Michelle, you can say that. Because, well, because would never wear a dress like that. So. The she, well, the she wouldn't, but you could tell her that, and she would know that you're, you're just being a joke. I'm just being authentic. <laughs> no, so yeah. it, it's a complicated concept, I think, but it's a simple concept in the sense that we need to be true to ourselves, and we need to look at ourselves, be aware of ourselves, mm -hmm. who we are, what we're doing, why we're doing it. Yeah. And you want to have the final word on this, uh, Michelle? Why don't you I'm have sorry? the final word on this? Yeah, well, I said I want to make sure that people, it's, it's, there are benefits to being more authentic because it leads to more positive emotions, greater life satisfaction, and, and you know, greater autonomy and, and control and purpose. So there are actually benefits for us, not just, oh, I'm going to be authentic and that's going to be good. You know, it's sort of like I'm going to feel way more comfortable with who I am, the people that are around me are going to people who really get me and I'm going to get them. And they're not going to be as many surprises of like, what, you know, that's not who you said you were, or you said you used to like this. It's like, we're really sinking into ourselves and being more natural. And, um, it's actually a freeing way to live where we're just true to ourselves. And, you know, we all know people who just have that sense of like, they know who they are, they know their limitations, they know their, you know, strengths and weaknesses, and they're okay with it. They, there's an acceptance that, um, mm, that we can yeah. develop for ourselves, which is just, um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> yeah. uh, great, uh, great explanation of authenticity. Uh, makes me uh, a new believer.
<laughs> Thank you. Michelle, uh, as always, thanks so much. Um, and we'll see you very soon. Thanks. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.